What's going on guys, your boy Turbo by Reacts here, welcome back to Terror Squad, and we are here for another episode, hope you guys don't mind, I actually, wow, <laughs> I actually just woke up and just decided to jump on the mic, damn, <laughs> jump on the mic to do this, do these, I actually, I came home early, decided to take a nap and overslept. So, all right. I will talk about that stuff at the end. Um, so we're gonna jump into these three episodes really quick, man. Um, what is it? Five through seven? Yes, five through seven. Um, and I will update you guys in the review so you know what's going on with the other anime on the channel. Um, so what's going on? with this see i'm i'm still a bit out of it let me collect my thoughts <laughs> okay um so we learned a lot in the last two episodes last two episodes that i did um i know i, I um i know you guys did not expect it because there wasn't a lot of people that watched it was off schedule and it dropped and hope you guys get a chance to go back and watch those two episodes episodes three and four um, so I hope you get a chance to go back and watch it. I know it was off schedule. A lot of people didn't see the upload because um, you weren't expecting it because anime days are Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I dropped it yesterday, dropped those two episodes yesterday. So because I'm trying to I'm trying to catch up before season three, part two drops. OK, so I'm trying to finish um, part one by this weekend. I don't know how sure of it I am because I just remembered that Infinity um, um, Endgame Endgame drops this Friday. As a matter of fact, I can go see it tomorrow, which I am going to, which I am going to be doing. I'm going to be going to see it tomorrow, but. I don't know how sure of it I am this weekend, but I am going to try to do it. Try my utmost best to get those last episodes out by the end of Saturday. So look out for, for another super reaction this weekend to finish up part one of season three. OK, um, so we learned a lot in the last two episodes, man, talking about Ymir, how she got the, the Titan power, learning about the power Titans and all of that good stuff. And I left myself with a question as in how did Eren get his powers? Because I don't believe Eren was left in the wilderness to wander. You know, um, somebody was telling me that still hasn't been revealed yet. Not even in this season. So nobody really knows what's going on. Because my theory is that his dad figured out how to turn people into titans without that whole process you get what i'm saying um having to turn into a, a, a mindless titan titan um having to eat a powered titan or a um you know a human that can transform into a titan to get those powers so that's how um a titan can can get a power they can convince them to join their side of things or you know reiner's side or Berthold's side whatever um i don't know if i still don't know if they know who the beast titans are who the be well are who the beast beast titan is so i'm still looking forward to that okay so there's a lot to the story right now that's that's bubbling to the top I'm curious to see what's going on with the Ackerman family. Like, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what's what's going to happen with that, knowing that Kenny's an Ackerman, Levi is an Ackerman, and Mikasa is an Ackerman. So I'm just, I'm um you guys said I'm gonna find it out um soon, maybe during this reaction. So I'm looking forward to that. Um but all all in all this series, the, the this season is shaping up to be very good. I love it. So I'm going to jump into these episodes, man, because I do want to do some other things tonight. So thank you guys so much, so much for the support on the last video that I uploaded. Um, um, so if you have not checked out 
the last reaction episodes three and four go ahead and watch those before you come and watch this reaction but you guys already know what to do link is down in the description for the full reaction and you have your alternate links where you can watch it just in case google drive is acting up so thank you guys so much for the support man i really really do appreciate it um leave a like on this leave a comment do what you need to do thank you guys so much see you guys for the review all right what's going on guys welcome back to the review if you stuck around for the review i mean there was so much information in these three episodes man um whoa probably should have took some notes <laughs> probably should have took some notes so i'm gonna try to remember as much as it as possible as i said at the end of the season um once I finish the last episode of this part one of season three, I'm going to try to do a more in-depth um, video. You guys can check out and we could run down all the things that happened during the season and discuss it. OK, so. This is crazy. This is nuts. OK, Attack on Titan just <laughs> soared. It just soared. Um, crazy 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 so let's let's start from the beginning here i'm gonna i'm gonna try to remember as much as it just off the top of my head right now because there was a lot of information in these three episodes this stretch of three episodes was unbelievable unbelievable um even those the half an episode of action that we got was pretty cool um so now that we got that out of the way voice acting 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 sound design 10 out of 10 the animation 10 out of 10 the the uh, crazy right so we start off by in um in episode five we find out what um erwin and pixies was up to right um having i thought that he was gonna go to the gallows they were building the gallows and all of that stuff it, it was just it was crazy to me how things were working out as it goes because it's because it's like are we really gonna see Irwin die is he gonna die for the cause but he basically made a deal with pigs is like listen this is a plan right because we need to find out w what these guys are really about let them show their true face right so the coup was basically that when when they were were in the room they were gonna stage stage an attack or pretend there's an attack coming which is what um the girl ran into the room bust the door open was like oh the armor titan and the colossal titan is here they've breached wall rose um so all the citizens now gotta get behind wall cena so they hear that and they're like oh so what's the decision what should we do and the the four idiots that are controlling the king, the four nobles or whatever their name, whatever their names are, I don't know, right? They decided that, oh, go close, cl close the doors, close the gates to Walsina. We're not letting anybody in. So basically, that's half of humanity you're condemning to death. So now they know exactly what they're all about. Oh, it's not about you mat it's not about saving humanity it's about saving your own hide because you he's he's like the reason why we're making this decision because you yourself said it would cause civil war and the thing about it is this if you're more concerned about yourself over just concerning humanity because the thing about it is this if they come out with, there's no guarantee there's going to be no civil war just because there's food sort shortage because i'm pretty sure everybody's going to understand that there's a food shortage but because they don't want to share it's just it's a selfish decision let's just boil it down to that it's just a selfish decision right it's just a selfish decision that they're making so in turn the way how them doing that now pixies and the other guy that came in i don't remember his name um i think it's zachary right he came in and stick him up and was like yo we taking control you guys 
or of y'all ain't got nothing about you. So we taking over. This is a coup. Um, we staged that whole thing just to hear what y'all had to say, which is, um, you know, is a is kind of like a callback of kind of like the last episode, right? Callback from episode four, where they kind of stage somewhat of a coup against the 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 that member of the um, of the internal police um, with Hanji, right? How they fooled them into thinking that they were gonna kill the guy and let them confess everything in you know and let the 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 those people hear right so it was kind of like the same same thing same kind of situation where they kind of forced their hand to show their true face right so so yeah man they found out where so that was pretty cool so erwin not dead and he's on his way they still need to find Aaron and historia because they don't know what's going on so um in the next episode we found out what was, what was taking place so they're in this blue freaking room looks like the um it looks like the the shell right it looks like the same shell that annie was in it's the same kind of blue kind of armored stuff you know so it looks like it's just a room full of that stuff so it looks like from what i understand of what what I'm trying to understand from this, right? I'm trying to relax and remember. From what I understand from all of this, from what the the father, um, Historia's father, was trying to explain throughout this whole thing. So when he when him and Historia stretched their hand towards Aaron, Aaron remembered a lot of things. So the first, um, he remembered the um how he got the titan powers he ended up eating his dad so that's how he ended up with the power now from what the father is explaining is that you have to have the reese bloodline to be able to have the ability to change memories or to you know wipe away memories because i saw in the flashback right not in Aaron's flashback but in Historia's flashback when she remember about her her sister or half sister right I don't remember her name exactly but eventually because there was a lot of information here so her half sister touched her touched her forehead and you saw the spark so she had the ability to wipe the memory so that's why she never remembered her until that moment so she so we learned how how they lost the power how he ended up in Aaron which is his dad busted in right we, I didn't even know the nigga was a titan dude went in turned into a titan um the half sister turned into her titan form because she has the power of the titan she didn't exactly she was the most powerful titan but she didn't know how to use it yet because i guess she was fresh you know what i'm saying she was fresh because she just took the power from um historia's father which is um i can never remember his damn name anyways you guys know who i'm talking about historia's father um, so it would be Historia's uncle, right? So his brother is the one that last had the Titan power before the half sister got it, right? So that sequence was was just absolutely nuts to me, very frightening because I never expected this from Aaron's father, you know, because up until this moment, you know, we he was on the good side. He was like that guy that basically i was in my mind he was the one saving humanity because he gave Aaron the power right so it turns out he he basically gave Aaron the power turned Aaron into a titan Aaron saw him ate him and got the powerful coordinate he re he remembered killing his own father because he saw the glasses and stuff so that was absolutely nuts just by itself. And then there was more. So the situation with Kenny, I'm going to have to watch that scene again because I don't know what was the confusion there. Like, I'm going to have to watch that scene again to really understand where Kenny was because it was kind of off base. 
I didn't understand why he was attacking dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't understand why he was like, why don't you turn into a Titan yourself? You know, and why did he even the odds? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to have to watch that situation again. So I don't want to talk too much about it, even though it was, it was significant, but what happened after that, um, where he cut Aaron, Aaron is supposed to, to turn into a Titan to defend himself against Historia turning into a Titan. So Historia is like, why aren't you, um, transforming, you know? If we're going to have this fight, why aren't you transforming? Because she was ready. She was ready. She was like, because she was eating up. She was drinking the Kool-Aid from her dad. She was drinking it until she heard what Aaron had to say, which is like, he was like, if, if it wasn't for my father, so many people would not have died. Because if you guys are supposed to be the savior of humanity, I'm not supposed to happen. Me having these powers were not supposed to happen. This is all because of my dad. Right? So Historia, she heard Aaron out and she just she decided to go against the whole plan. Right? Free Aaron. She freaking knocked the freaking um Titan juice on the ground out of the syringe, broke. Her dad was pissed. Um she threw yo she threw her dad down like a piece of pieces <laughs> well we already know she saw us because she was one of the, the top 10 that graduated from the the cadet core right so it's like she that the the throw didn't surprise me it was it was more of her turning against her dad like that you know what i'm saying she knocked that syringe down and gave him the judo throw you know what i'm saying so that was pretty cool to see and then she went up to go get the keys and to free Aaron. you know it so many great moments in the last those three episodes man a lot of explanations i'm gonna watch those episodes again because i don't want to be here talking for 20 minutes right now at least i can't talk for 20 minutes right now so there's a lot to divulge in those three episodes, man. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, um, watch these episodes again in my, in my little off time. I'll take my time and watch them again. Rewind, stop, kind of understand the dialogue a little bit better. It was great. It was great. Well written. As I said, I didn't quite get why, what Kenny was talking about. I need to watch that conversation again. So I don't want to comment on it too much. Because it seems like he's upset about something. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if, if it's something he overheard um, Historia's dad saying why he was upset. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. So I'm going to have to watch that scene again to see exactly what really happened. But it was great to see. It was great to see. It was great to see. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much, man. It, it's This was an awesome ride. And I still have what five, five or six more episodes to go. Um, but we'll we'll see how things turn out um, for the weekend. I'm gonna try to finish it up on the weekend, but I'm gonna try to do a review video, a complete one, talking about these three episodes because they were so they, they were so deep. There was a lot more meaning to it. Um, as I said, the action was great. Um, the action was awesome because of the strategy they used to take out. It, they literally brought swords to a gunfight and smoke. And it was the perfect thing. Armin figured it all out. It was Armin's strategy. The dude is a freaking genius, man. We all know this, right? And then, you know, we had Sasha watching their back with the range. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So they did pretty good, man. We didn't lose anybody. I don't think Hanji is dead. I think she just, because she fell from so high, I think that's what happened to her. She got hurt from the um from the, the hook that was shot into her shoulder. She dropped from a pretty high height, but it doesn't look like. I think she's just knocked out. I'm not going to, I don't think she's dead. So the sequence is pretty cool, man. Of course, Levi slicing the hell out of Kenny was very satisfying. Um, so 
yeah, I'm down for that anytime. Okay. Um, even though they could potentially be very close family, you know, um, right now it's, it's kill or be killed at this point, man. I'm wondering what's going to happen now. That's what I'm wondering. What's, what is he going to go out there and say now, now that he's kind of, kind of knows the truth. I don't know if he's finding out new information. That's why I said, I don't want to comment on it too much. Cause I didn't quite understand, you know, why he came into the room that cause his job was to protect them. So the ritual could happen. So I don't understand why he came into the room with that kind of animosity. I think he overheard something and that's what got him, you know, in that mode. So, cause all this time he was supposed to be protecting them. Um, so I don't know. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm loving it, man. This, this anime is great. The writing, the writing is awesome. The writing is awesome. It's not, it's, it's top notch in its own right. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say, well, it's out of this world and hard to, to figure out. I'm just saying the way how they reveal stuff, the writing is really good. The emotion, the voice actors deliver it like exceptionally. So it really causes you to listen and, you know, feel what the characters are feeling in that moment. Like I did not, I did not expect Historia to, to actually turn. I knew that Aaron wasn't going to turn. Why? Because we know who Aaron is. Aaron is not just going, just going to be ready to fight Historia. He's just not. We know that he's that dude. He, we know his character. So we know he's not going to just be ready. I mean, he's never ready to fight friends. No matter, even when the evidence is poking him in the eye. He's never ready to fight friends. No matter what, he's always questioning. There must be a reason. There must be a reason. And the reason was very clear here. So we knew, at least I knew that Aaron wasn't going to transform in that moment when Kenny cut him. I knew that wasn't going to happen. So I was just watching to hear what he has to say. Cause I'm cause now that he's not gagged anymore, he can talk. So I want to hear him out, hear what he has to say. And he said exactly what I expected him to say, which is, um, he's the reason because you know, these main characters, you know, I don't want to bring up the cliches of main characters blaming themselves for everything, trying to take on the weight of the world, but that's just how it is in, 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 in a lot of animes is like main protagonists is like, they just want to take on all the burdens, you know, which is cool. It's cool. I like it because it's good storytelling. Um, when, you know, they don't want to see anybody hurt. They just want to take all the pain for themselves and share it with others they want friends and that all that stuff is encompassing it's a cliche for animes but at the same time it's great you know if done very well it's awesome and this anime is doing it exceptionally well so i'm digging it but yeah man so as i said i don't want to make this video is already 17 minutes long i'm still talking so i will be doing a very in-depth look at these three episodes again hope you guys support that video also when it comes out i don't have any more time to record anything else tonight um i overslept tried to get um a, try to take a nap before i started recording and overslept i don't know i did not hear the alarm because i set an alarm to wake me up i was trying to get like a couple hours of sleep before i before i started recording um, cause I got home a bit early, but yeah, cause I was more tired than I thought. So yeah, it was pretty cool, man. It was pretty exciting. This, these episodes definitely, definitely were very good. So I'll see you guys for the next video, man. Hopefully I can get this done by the weekend. Um, both videos, both the next one is going to be a super reaction that I'm going to try to get out to you guys on Saturday. I also, um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching as always. Do I have anything else left to say? I don't think so. Thank you guys for watching the review. Remember, you are Terror Squad. Remember to like and comment on this video also. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and peace.